Hello and welcome Mrs. Bulldog Gaming and we're back at the farming system. Um, today we're actually going to be able to plant seeds or for example, yeah, uh, seeds <coughs> for the dug over dirt that we've, we created in the last episode. Now let me show you quickly if I press play. Um, don't worry about that shovel, if we click shovel down here and we hold the button left mouse button down it changes the texture of that specific tile that you're standing on okay the texture is not the great um, but this is just literally to show you how to do it so you can actually get but what we wanted to be able to achieve is pick up a seed select the seed and we've got to go to hands and then when we place the seed it will place it within the within the dug up section of dirt so you'll be able to pick uh, what seed you want to place in this section what seed you want to place in this section this section this section and so forth so that's the aim of this video um yeah so let's get into it right so the first thing we need to do is open up ground okay so we have this box here which is the static mesh and then obviously the box collision here um we need to create on the ground itself another box collision okay so we're going to create that and we're going to call this uh, what did I call it in my other tutorial planting box okay so this is going to be the planting the planting box and what we're going to do we are going to scale this up around about that there because we want to we want to plant it at this center of it so we want it to be at zero zero really there we go compile and save that now if we go to the the blueprint of the third person character <coughs> when it loads up it is taking this well there we go so under the event graph we have this this event here so when we press e to interact it plants okay um, when we click the left mouse button if we're holding the shovel obviously we want it to dig the ground um, if we're not holding the shovel it will mean that we're in free hands which means if we're in free hands and that's true we can plant seed here so this is the this is the next function that we want to create obviously if we're not in hands we want to come off into check in to see if we can destroy the tree because we need to 100% make sure that in destroy a tree here not here uh, where do I go? no phrase that skip that for a minute we're, we're, we're just focus on this print we're just focus on this particular thing here um, on the plant seed for example okay so what we need to do we need to create a function called plant seed and this will be in the no sorry this will be in the planting interface if we go to farming uh, planting interface uh, where do we dig ground in where do we dig the ground did we create that as a so dig ground interface is in the digging interface okay so instead of putting it in the planting interface we'll put it in the digging interface here oh we've already got it plant seed brilliant okay so <coughs> in the digging interface we've got dig ground and plant seed okay so we need to call this pit okay so we need to pull out from rewrite mode here and we need to literally just call plant seed message okay we can delete the print string we can pull this up here and put this into true okay the player is obviously going to be self so we can sort that out it's no, no issue just type in self and we'll put that under there the actor class 
and the current stack is going to come from here okay so I have reroll notes here so the event select item I can draw from here and bring it down into here and then same with the current stack okay because it's exactly the same as a plant tree but I'd rather do it that way because it just means it up a bit we haven't got to have everything everywhere okay like I said this blueprint we will we will tidy it up at the minute it does look a little all over the place but I need really everything here um, except for this this can sort of yeah I need everything here just for the minute just to understand that everything's working okay so now we need to implement this plant seed and where we implement this plant seed is on ground okay so if we click ground and we go to interfaces plant seed which is here okay so we're already pulling the player we're already pulling the, pulling the actor class and we're already pulling the current stack <coughs> from the third person okay so from here we now need to add oops, sorry <coughs> ground we now need to add a check here quick a quick branch from here to, to check to see if it's been dug over so we we'll, you should already have the boolean because we made it in the last episode so we want to get it if you haven't got it then just create a boolean have been dug over draw out and create a branch so this is obviously our first check to see if the ground is dug over because if the ground is dug over yeah if the ground is dug over um, we want it to plant something but if the ground isn't dug over then we don't want it to do anything okay this is specifically just for seeds there will be an option so on freehand when you click the seed it will select a seed in hand but we'll add that shortly down the line okay so what we need to do now is pull out of the true and spawn an actor yeah spawn an actor from class let's get this turn over that way and obviously the class goes into the class it's got to be well not there make it look a little bit neater there we go the spawn transform is where we want it to be spawned to so this specific class where do we want it spawned to so what we want to do we want to grab the planting box that we we got that we created at the, st at the start of this episode we want to pull out of here and get world transform get world transform and then obviously the transform straight into there now the default we want it to always spawn ignore collision okay um no let's leave it as default for the moment yeah and then obviously connect the return over right so this has been dug over do we actually have it yeah so dig ground is holding a shovel it's changed material it's set that has been dug over to true okay so once that's been done the variable is clicked to true for that specific part of the ground and then obviously when we want to plant a seed it's going to check to see if it's been dug over if it has then it's going to let us spawn the actor but now what we need to do we need to create the actor and how we do that is go back to the item menu go back to nope, farming and we need to create an actor we need to create a specific thing here so i'm going to get rid of this shovel quickly because we don't need this oh. and we're going to create ourselves a couple of um a couple of things so we're going to pull out a cone this is going to be how okay this is this is going to be our flower let's just make it a little bit smaller so the diameter okay um, obviously you could change the meshes and do what you want to do so for now I want to make a smaller one so I want specifically just that and I want to go click on it go to actor convert to a static mesh I want to put it in blueprints farming meshes okay so I'm gonna call this flower for example or seed or whatever way you want to call it okay so now we have a flower here I think that's actually going to be a flower but 
yeah, you, you get the drift, you call it whatever you want. Um, now what we need to do is actually go back to farming and create one of these. So we actually have a master seed here, so you, what we want to do is right click the master seed, create child blueprint, and we want to call this flower one. Okay, and then we want to right click this again, create child blueprint, and call this flower two. Just so there's a variant, the first flower, we want to change the static mesh. So the static mesh is going to be flower. Okay, and then we're going to change the color of that and the shape. Okay, so we're going to make it a little bit smaller just so you can see it. There you go. And then we're going to change things out of it. We're going to change material to sank so we can see it green. There you go. Compile, save. If we go into flower itself, the first stage is okay so the first growth stage is this is where it gets tricky because you have to have a mesh um, and I can't actually edit this mesh without editing it into it yeah it's, it's quite complicated and but to be honest I don't really need to do it but if you if you buy an asset or if you download an asset offline it will come in stages so you literally put your main static mesh here yeah, that wants to plant, so this will probably be a seed, and then the first growth stage will be the first growth stage, and how long you want it to happen, second, blah, 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 but what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all these, because I don't want them to, I don't want it to grow, um, it will grow, but I just want it to say fully grown all the time, okay, so that's, that's how I want to, that's how I need to, oh, pardon me, that's how I need to do it. What am I doing? Right, we need to go to where is our Do meshes items? There we go. Right, just so I can get this right for you guys. Right, so obviously the item class is going to be flower one. So we want to pull to this and click flower. We want to make sure that it's fully grown. Yeah? And the cut down, it ain't going to be cut down yet. We want to get the item icon. So I'm just going to pick something generic. Just to do it for now. The stack size, it doesn't matter. Probably go with five, but that ain't working at the moment. Okay, the harvest to drop, we want to put none for the moment because we ain't created the harvest for it to drop yet. We just literally want it to spawn in that specific place. And the mesh left behind once cut down, and the item resource won't pick up, and the resource stack. They could be literally the same. So, if we pull, delete this, and pull one of these flowers out, so we can actually pick them up. Well, they are a bit big, and eh? that's all right. We'll live with them. I think it's. I think it's. If you old alt, you can duplicate it. Yeah, there you go. Right, so we're going to save that and we're going to play. So now I can pick these flowers up. Yeah? So now I have two flowers. Um, theoretically, if I click on this now and press E, I shouldn't be allowed to plant that. Okay, because it's not dug ground. So that's the first bug we need to sort out. So I believe that's in the third person. So obviously, when we press E here, interact. We need to check to see if the ground is dug. Okay, so we need to from interact. So obviously, when we click, I mean, do we click E or do we click right click? I think we click E. So we click that and then we click E. Right. So from here, we need to check to see if the ground has been dug. Which means we've got to jump to a f to the <coughs> the ground, okay? Because we need to check to see has this been dug over. So what I'm going to do instead of having this variable here, because it's easier to get a from player has ground been dug from player to ground. If you understand what I'm saying, okay? So I'm going to create that variable here. 
So, has ground been dug? Question mark. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring that into here. We're gonna get that. We're gonna compile. We're gonna save. We're gonna go back to ground, and then we're gonna pull off player has ground. Oh, has ground been dug? And we're gonna put that as a branch. Okay, one sec. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work, that ain't gonna work, that ain't gonna work, that ain't gonna work. Can't do that. Right. So compile that, save, and delete that. Don't listen to me. I'm a div. That's not gonna work. Okay, so uh do we need how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? How have I done this on this other one? Um, so obviously with E planting interface. Okay, 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 right. So what we're gonna achieve here, we're gonna do one check yeah and the check that we're gonna do we're gonna do a we get overlapping actors right one sec i'll bring you back right so i'm back i've been a bit of a div right so we do not need to do a check because we're not doing the interact we're actually do using the action button so if we press play we get the shovel out and we dig up a little bit of land here for example you can change the delay and put a, an animation there if you really wish to um, if we go to hands now and we pick up this if we click on this and then pick a, a, a square that we really want to plant we can actually press the left mouse button and it should doing it now why wait why is it duplicating the item that's weird there you go I planted that one but it ain't because we pick we, we only pick one up so it's planted it but for some reason when you click the button it's duplicating it yeah it's planted that one yeah so it may need to be a little bit bigger that box um so go into ground, viewport, make this box a tiny bit bigger so the footprint is a bit, oh god, so the footprint is a little bit bigger of where you can actually place it, yeah, and then we'll just bring it up, oh, we'll just bring it up a tad to where we want it to plant, okay, but we shouldn't be clicking shit and picking up other items. So if we dig this bit of ground here, we need an animation there really. Um, go back to hands, click on this, and click, it'll plant the items. There you go. So it'll plant, it'll plant the trees, but you can't plant them over here you can only plant them on that bit of dirt so let me show you again so for example let's just make these three yeah go to hands pick up the other flower now if we click on the flower and we stand on this shirt and press left mouse button it will plant it if we press mouse button it won't plant it on the grass it will only plant it I don't think it'll let me plant it because I've only. There you go. Yeah, so it's a little bit buggy. We're going to have to sort that out. Why is that them so massive? Do they really need to be that big? Do they really need to be that big? It is sort of working, isn't it? 
Right, let's just quickly make the other flower. So go to flower two. The same thing. The growth stage needs to be cleared. Zero on that, zero on that. Clear, zero on that, clear one. Right, like I said, with this, um, it's fully grown. Item icon. Let's just give it something that we ain't had before. Cobblestone that'll do. Stack size five, so we can only stack five of them. Uh, it's not been planted yet. The item to drop once harvest is none. None, 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 none. Continue save. We need to change the the actual static mesh of that. So flower, but we're gonna give it a different color. Just so you got a bit of variant. So let's go metal door. There you go. We don't need it. Uh, and we're gonna change the size of it. It's because this this actually has a box of its own. Uh, we could actually get rid of. That's why it's so big. Um, but it, it doesn't really matter. Oh, one sec. We need to put them in the the area. So let's just slot a couple of these in there. Boom. Bring it up a bit. Um, boom. Bring it up a bit. Press play. So to be honest, we don't really need to be that. They don't really need to be that big before you pick them up but let's go back to the shovel let's dig a square there 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 okay for example so go back to hands click on this one we can place this one here click on this one we can place over it which you shouldn't be able to but we can we shouldn't be able to do that we can place that one is a little bit buggy we can place that one I think it's due to the size of the boxes so if we go back to the flowers I don't think we can actually delete them boxes we could definitely 100% make them boxes smaller um, because they do not need to be that big so we can 100% make them boxes a little bit smaller. Compile. Let's go to flower two. Do that again. Oh, not that, the box. There we go. Because we can edit this stuff. Compile, save, play. So now the, the boxes ain't that big. So we can click on shovel. a nice little patch that we can dig up, go to hands, pick these flowers up, go over to here, pick what flower we want to plant, press E, we should not be, at, oh no, not E, sorry, there you go, we planted it, uh, we want to plant this one as well, see why is it doing that? that's definitely a bug let's sort that bug out now right so pretty easy fix so obviously what we're doing is when we're actually trying to place the, the flower down we're actually picking it back up because we haven't actually set that the ground needs to pick it back up so on plant tree when at, um, somewhere along here somewhere in here we are checking we are making sure that it's been planted okay so it's free hands does implement yeah so i don't know exactly where it is it might be in any in the event go after them um but we shouldn't be able to pick it up um we should be setting it as uh, planted so in ground here somewhere it should have that it's been planted hmm. right, we need to go to the master seed 
so here so it's planted okay so what we're doing is obviously when we plant the tree for example on begin overlap cut down this tree if it's false then we want to set it to planted okay we need to set this on the ground okay so from the ground to plant seed we need to pull from this spawn actor can we get it from there we need to get it from So we need to set it to say that it's been planted, okay? So let me find out where I can pull that from and I'll bring it back and show you, just so this video isn't too long. Right, this should work. Right, so on the master seed, we've got this on begin overlap, okay? So obviously, if it hasn't been planted, uh, then we wanna continue. But what we need to do is, from the false pin, because obviously, uh, what we're trying to plant isn't uh, using the interface planting so I'm hoping if I pull out of here and get a does implement interface and the interface is the digging interface we pull this up to a true okay just so it doesn't interact and then off the false we want to check and then off the true we want to plop it so now I'm hoping that we won't be picking up anymore. Hello? It's a bit weird. So why would it let me plant over there but won't let me... Let me plant in different directions, but won't let me. I've got the shovel in hand. Okay. Let me shift. Let me skip with that for now. Because that's weird. That's weird that that would. That's weird that that would do that. Oh, we just weren't waiting long enough. Okay, <laughs> it's me trying to rush it. Um, and now I pick these up. And if we click on these. Let's pull off here. I've got a print string. The true. And the print string. To false. See what it's saying. So obviously when we try and plant this, we can plant it like that. We know we can plant it like that. But we don't want to be able to plant it like that. We want to be able to plant it like this. Okay, so it ain't gonna let us plant it unless we false, 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 false. Right. So it's pulling. It's pulling to false, which is good. Let me <laughs> let me try and figure it out again. I'll bring you back to it. Oh wow! Right. <laughs> the first things first, you've got to do. You've got to go back to ground 
and you've got to add this static box mesh back in you need this box mesh okay so just literally like this yeah the next thing you've got to do which is a quite easy simple task is go to your flowers and we clicked on fully grown here yeah you want to uncheck that they do not need to be fully grown so make sure you go on to flower 2 and flower 1 they do not need to be fully grown okay now the issue we was having is that for example when we pick a tree up and we place that tree down we use E to place that tree down we can't pick this tree back up because it's a class as a planted tree but we can pick this one up because it ain't classed as a planted tree yet. It's only classed as a planted tree when we plant it. Yeah. So what was happening was when we was picking these up. And we was placing them down. BG. Like this. Oh. They weren't classed as a planted tree. So as soon as we was pushing it down, we was picking it up. Okay. So like obviously now you can't do it, okay? So it's just an uh, an interface issue, which I'm going to show you now. It was in the master scene. So on component begin overlap box, the planting interface is for planting the trees, and the digging interface is for planting the seeds. We only had this section here connected to planting. We needed to add does implement interface here digging interface if we're bringing this up and then we want this to be true as well as this to be true because the the master seed implements both of these okay but we're using the interface on this so it wouldn't it would have run the interface um so yeah so we're clicking the so then obviously we're setting the planted and then going off to the event timers so now no matter when you dig up a little bit of land, for example, I've changed I've changed the speed because I was sick of sitting there waiting a minute because I kept having to change it. Now when we pick these up and we click on hands, we can plant whatever ones we want. So, oh, not not E. We've got to get rid of that so you can't actually plant that on E, but. If we click left click, we can plant the green ones here. And then we can plant the grey ones here. And then we can plant another set of grey ones, for example. And then we want the rest to be green. Just make sure you click off the inventory button. Oh, now it's planting saying kills. I think that's planting trees. So we've got all that as well, but now that's just planting trees and that shouldn't be helping okay uh yeah so that's another bug but we'll sort that out in the next video but yeah you can plant you can plant seeds now and um in the dirt without planting it in the grass so the, the flower bed has to be built before uh you can plant any sort of flower or seeds so on that bombshell i'm gonna call that uh, episode eight i believe um, if you do, if you are enjoying this, um, support the channel by giving it a like and subscribing. We're so close to 100 subscribers. Probably when this video releases, hopefully we'll be there. Um, we're one tenth away from a thousand. Um, I'm going to keep going and going and going uh, as I thoroughly enjoy working with Unreal Engine. Thank you, everyone, for supporting the channel right now. And on that bombshell, Bulldog Games is out.